Sometimes the world is a confusing place. Let's take glass for example. It's completely transparent, and if you're not looking closely, it's hard to even know it's there. And it's made out of sand, which is not transparent at all. Weird, huh? <laughs> This is even harder for random animals who haven't quite yet figured out the art of glass working. Things can get a little smashy at times. Oh, oh, From the lion who thought he was able to get a meal to the koala who lost it while shopping for electronics, here's 20 dangerous animals who don't know what glass is. <sighs> Number 20. Lion scratching the glass while trying to grab a woman's scooter behind it. This is the moment when a lion paws wildly at the window of its enclosure, attempting to grab a woman's scooter. The feline can be seen, staring at a visitor. At the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas, the visitor, who was using a scooter to elevate her broken leg, wheels up to the window and presses her palm on the glass. When she turns her gaze to find the fearsome animal staring at her, the lion pounces. The enormous cat extends its front legs in the air, extending its body along the glass and reaching out to the woman. While the visitor shouts in surprise, it claws against the glass. One of the people behind the camera comments, Oh, I'm glad that glass was there. When the beast can no longer maintain that position, it falls to the ground and paws at the barrier, as if trying to reach the scooter. You can't get my scooter, the woman ultimately laughs off her amazement and yells at the lion. You can't get my scooter! Lions are the most intelligent of all the large cats. Lions outperformed all other felines in various task-solving trials. Researchers think that the lion's advantage over other big cats is due to its social existence, and that social intelligence leads to increased cognitive ability. Lionesses utilize clever strategies to catch animals during hunting. Depending on the actions of their hunting companion, each lioness has a particular duty. They communicate with both the invaders and the pride members using a wide range of noises. Roaring is one of the most well-known ways for lions to communicate. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Koala wanders into electrical store and becomes confused by glass window. On November 13th, 2017, a koala strolled into the door of a Beta electrical store in Portland, Victoria, startling staff and customers. The Australian was visibly perplexed and sought to exit via the store's glass-plated doors, alarming customers. The animal was later gently removed to its environment without harm, according to a witness. The koala is an Australian arboreal herbivorous marsupial. It is the sole living member of the Phascolarctidae family, and its nearest living relatives are wombats, who belong to the Vombatidae family. The koala lives along the eastern and southern coasts of Australia's mainland in Queensland, New Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. Its robust, tailless body and huge head with wide, fluffy ears and a large, spoon-shaped snout make it instantly identified. Identifiable. Many international leaders, including Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. President Barack Obama, were seen holding koalas at the 2014 G20 Brisbane Conference, which was hosted by Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott. The word koala diplomacy was coined as a result of the event, and it was named the Oxford Word of the Month for December 2016. The term also refers to the Australian government's loan of koalas to zoos in other nations, such as Singapore and Japan, as a sort of soft power diplomacy akin to China's panda diplomacy. Number 18. Ostrich Ostriches are supposed to be foolish creatures, and here's a good illustration in which the ostrich continually tries to eat the glass, despite the fact that the bird's beak smashes the window glass. It understands what's going on here. 
In a way, um, eventually, it definitely kept the park's visitors amused, but are they truly stupid? Forget about the knucklehead stereotype. In a world full of predators, these large birds are astute survivalists. Most of us are content with a single comical image of ostriches. They're the large birds who bury their heads in the sand at times of crisis, believing that if they can't see danger, danger won't see them. To feed on plants or manage their nests, ostriches generally keep their heads low to the ground, but not under it. Their necks, on the other hand, are lighter and more flexible than ours, with 17 cervical vertebrae compared to our seven, and they can readily move up and down, side to side, and front to back, and their enormous eyes aid them in keeping a watchful check on the environment around them. Tarangir National Park in northern Tanzania is a fantastic spot to watch ostriches. The Tarangir River runs across 1,100 square kilometers of arid hills and green plains. Elephants, zebras, and wildebeests in large herds may be seen here, along with tens of thousands of zebras. Ostriches are also common, and with all of these other dangerous creatures around, the ostrich has shown to be a formidable survivor. Number 17. Cougar tries to attack dog standing behind glass. The mountain lion believed he had discovered a big meal for dinner and dashed towards the prey with energy and enthusiasm, but he had no idea that the dog was secured by a glass fence that the mountain lion could not breach, so he returned disappointed. This dog presumably believed he was invincible in the timeless fight against cats, but that was until he was confronted by a genuine cougar. This large dog would be torn to bits by a cougar. Fortunately, the glass separated everyone. Cougars are huge cats belonging to the Felinae subfamily. It is the most widespread big wild terrestrial animal in the Western Hemisphere with a range that stretches from the Canadian Yukon to the Southern Andes in South America. It's a versatile, generalist species that may be found in a variety of habitats across the United States. It goes by numerous names, including puma, mountain lion, catamount, panther, and painter because of its extensive distribution. Cougar ranges are progressively overlapping with human inhabited places as the human population grows. Cougar prey recognition is a taunt trait, and they do not typically perceive people as prey. As a result, attacks on humans are extremely unusual. Between 1890 and 1990, there were 53 verified attacks on humans in North America, resulting in 48 non-fatal injuries and 10 human fatalities. The total is more than 53 because several attacks involved multiple victims. By 2004, the number of attacks had risen to 88, with 20 people killed. Pumas in the southern cone of America, commonly referred to as Argentine cougars by North Americans, are said to be wary of humans, and legend has it that they even defend people against jaguars. Number 16. Tiger a large sheet of glass protected a little kid from becoming tiger food in Ireland. When this Irish boy and his family visited Dublin Zoo for Christmas, there was a large sheet of glass between him and a full-sized Siberian tiger. Sean, a seven-year-old boy who was posing for a selfie in front of the tiger's enclosure, piqued the tiger's curiosity. In a video posted to Twitter by Sean's father, the large cat can be seen hurling itself at the toddler before scratching at the glass where Sean had just departed. He reacted pretty calm, Sean's dad said. Number 15. Gorilla one family's visit to a Nebraska zoo became horrifying when the gorilla they were viewing leapt towards the exhibit window, shattering it. Kevin Cave recorded the incident and shared it on his Reddit profile. It has already received over 1 million views. Cave claimed he observed one of the gorillas had a gash below its eye that was bleeding a little bit when his family initially arrived to Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo gorilla exhibit. He claimed he overheard a couple of zookeepers claiming the gorillas were fighting him. Oh, man. 
Philippe drove the family and other customers fleeing, but when Cave returned, he said, it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. The Henry Dorley Zoo's Dan Cassidy claims he was shocked by the publicity since he thought the whole incident was a non-event. Male gorillas are known to have squabbles from time to time. They show how tough they are by pounding on the wall and the windows. Cassidy added, the public was never in danger despite the crack he claimed. Since the window contains numerous layers of glass, and acrylic. Well, they would say that though, wouldn't they? According to the zoo's website, Kijoto is a 20-year-old western lowland gorilla. He is a 375-pound giant. Number 14. Markor Cracks Glass in a Zoo a huge capra species endemic to Central Asia, the Karakoram, and the Himalayas, the Markor, is a giant goat. The Markor, also known as the Screwhorn or Screwhorned Goat in Pakistan, is the country's national animal. Markor are suitable to hilly environments and may be found at elevations ranging from 600 to 3,600 meters. Shrub woodlands with oaks, pines, and junipers are where they usually live. Males battle each other by lunging, locking horns, and attempting to knock each other off balance during the mating season, which takes place in the winter. To detect surrounding predators, Markor have good eyesight and a powerful sense of smell. Markor are extremely observant of of their environment and are constantly on the lookout for predators. What's up, dude? They are fast to recognize and run from predators in open places. Subsistence hunting for food or commerce in wildlife partially exacerbates the challenge for Markor population management in many nations. Poaching is by far the greatest serious danger to the survival of the Markor population, with indirect effects like disturbance, increasing fleeing distances, and subsequent loss in effective habitat size. Local residents, state border guards, who mainly rely on local hunting guides, and Afghans illegally crossing the border appear to be the most common sorts of poachers. Poaching divides the population into tiny islands, putting the surviving subpopulations at risk of extinction. Number 13. Man Scared by Shark in Washington, D.C. Museum Touch at Your Own Risk reads a warning over a simulated shark tank at the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. What's the worst that could happen, Gregory Heinzman was undoubtedly thinking. As a great white shark swam past, he reached out and touched the screen, which was designed to seem like an aquarium glass pane. Hazeman clearly read the warning indication and continued to touch the device. He continued to tap the screen. As a big white shark swam past, the imaginary shark then came at him, shattering the fake pane of glass and knocking Heinzman backwards and onto his butt. The response of Heinzman is priceless. He was on the verge of having a heart attack. The guy in the video gets scared easily by anything, uploader Peck said in the comment section of her initial YouTube video. Heisman isn't the first person to fall for the prank, and he won't be the last, but this reaction might compete for the title of most terrified. It is logistically impossible to keep great white sharks in captivity due to their need to travel long distances for seasonal migration and their extremely demanding diet. As a result, while attempts have been made in the past, there are no known aquariums in the world believed to house a live specimen. No great white shark has ever lived in captivity for more than 11 days before August 1981. A great white shark lived for 16 days at SeaWorld San Diego in August 1981 before being released. The Monterey Bay Aquarium has no plans to show any additional great white sharks as their primary function in captivity was to study them. The institution has moved its attention to studying wild sharks as data from captive great whites is no longer required. Number 12. Jealous Alpha Male Monkey Attacks Man that monkey is very set on chasing down the dude. YouTube user nRucker5 posted the video, which he describes as follows. This is the cafe inside the Memphis Zoo. The manager of the cafe told me that the alpha male monkey noticed me the second I walked in the door and started going crazy because the alpha male, he feels threatened by tall males. So she told me to go stand by the window and turn my back on him and that he would would 
attack me. <laughs> so, did the video's ending catch you all off guard too? It's probably for the best there was some thick glass between him and the monkey. Monkeys of various species have different connections with humans. Some are maintained as pets, while others are utilized in labs or on space missions as model organisms. They may be utilized as assistance animals for the disabled or slaughtered in monkey drives when they pose a hazard to agriculture. Some monkey species are considered agricultural pests in some locations, causing significant harm to commercial and subsistence crops. This might have serious ramifications for the protection of endangered species that may be targeted for extinction. Farmers' impressions of harm may only sometimes be higher than the actual damage. Monkeys that have gotten accustomed to human presence in tourist areas may become pests and assault visitors. Each year between 100 and 200,000 non-human primates are believed to be employed in research across the world. Perhaps this man mistook the man for a scientist, in which case the monkey's behavior would be justified. Number 11. Seal Bumps Into Glass Wall this seal was loving the idea that if it crashed against the glass at the Portland Zoo, it receives a lot of attention. He continued doing it, which is pretty amusing. Pinnipeds are popular attractions at facilities all over the world because to their big size and lively nature. Seals have been held in captivity since at least ancient Rome, and Pliny the Elder noticed their trainability. During the 19th century, zoologist George Cuvier observed that wild seals have a strong affection for people, and that they are second only to some primates among wild animals in terms of tameability. Seals, according to Francis Galton's seminal study on domestication are a superb example of an animal that, despite its friendliness and need for comfort, will almost certainly never be domesticated, since they provide no practical purpose for people. Some modern displays have rocky backdrops with artificial hollowed spots and pools, while others feature enclosures with little rocky raised shelters where the animals may plunge into their pools. Deep pools that may be observed underwater with rock mimicking cement as hollowed sections are found in more intricate installations. The California sea lion is the most frequent pinniped species maintained in captivity as it is both easy to train and versatile. Gray seals and harbor seals are two more widely maintained species. Walruses and stellar sea lions, for example, are far less numerous. Number 10. Beluga Whale Crashes in Glass when this curious beluga whale tried to come closer to guests at his aquarium, he got his nose squished. Juno, an eight-year-old monster, noticed people observing him from the other side, so he swam right up to the glass, and he made a lot of people laugh when he shoved his full face up to the window, flattening his nose and chin in the process of trying to get a better view. Photographer Nicole Perkins photographed the unexpected image at the Mystic Aquarium, <laughs> In Connecticut, America, Juno is very popular with guests, according to the 30-year-old from Connecticut. Juno is very interactive with guests, she noted. She then went on to say, On this occasion, he came over to check out some trinkets I had with me. Shiny beads, a slinky, money, and a set of keys. He swam up to me, watched for a second, then pressed his head on the glass before backing off and watching again. Juno is 11 feet 9 inches long and weighs about 1,320 pounds. At Mystic Aquarium, he is one of three belugas who occupy a one-acre outdoor habitat named Arctic Coast. The friendly whale who was born in July 2002 and typically stays at SeaWorld in Orlando was brought to the Mystic Aquarium in January last year in the hopes of breeding. Number 9. Wild Polar Bear Tries to Break In 
This cameraman's life is rocked by the sight of a 7-foot polar bear. Without a doubt, she wanted me for lunch, says wildlife filmmaker Gordon Buchanan, who had this heart-stopping encounter while filming the Polar Bear Family and Me series for the BBC in Svalbard in 2013. Buchanan was recording from within the ice cube, a perspex and aluminum hide, when the curious female walked away from the seal hole the team had planned to film, following her nose towards something more human. Arctic peoples, such as the Inuits, Yupik, Chukchi, Nanets, Russian Pomors, and others, have long relied on polar bears for basic resources. Hunters frequently utilize dog teams to confuse bears, allowing them to spear the bear or shoot it with an arrow from a closer distance. Almost every aspect of the caught animals was useful. The meat is edible despite the risk of trichinosis, the fat has been used in food and as fuel for lighting homes, along with seal and whale blubber. Sinews were used as yarn for sewing garments, the gallbladder and sometimes heart were dried and powdered for medical uses, the large canine teeth were highly valued as charms. Only the liver was not utilized because of its high vitamin A content, which is toxic. Number 8. Bear Tries to Hit Kid Through Glass at Colorado Spring Zoo if it hadn't been for the glass, a grizzly bear would have eaten a child at the Cayenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs, CO. If a wild bear hears an unusual sound in the woods, it will most likely flee the area. However, if it develops familiarity to humans, for example, by feeding, it will feel safe enough to attack them. Don't give food to wild animals. Brown bears in North America were formerly so feared by Native Americans that they were seldom hunted by them, especially when they were alone. Traditional grizzly hunts were undertaken with the same preparation and ceremoniality as intertribal combat among some Western tribes, such as the Gwicken, and were never done without a party of four to ten warriors. The tribal members who delivered the fatal blow were held in great regard by their fellow tribe members. For fear of bear attacks, Californian natives intentionally avoided prime bear habitat and would not allow their young males to hunt alone. Rather than killing grizzlies themselves, several tribes sought help from European colonists to cope with problem bears during the Spanish colonial period. Many authors in the American West described grizzly assaults that left natives, or voyagers, with lacerated faces and missing noses or eyes. Number 7. Fox Tries to Get in Home Humans aren't threatened by foxes unless they're rabid, which is extremely unusual. Although foxes are occasionally infected with rabies, the good news is that the fox strain of illness has seldom, if ever, been transferred to humans in the United States. Fortunately, if done quickly, post-exposure therapy is 100% successful. The most essential thing you can do to protect your domestic animals, yourself, and others against rabies is to have them vaccinated. Still, as we can see in this video, they appear to want to make friends and move in with you if they can, except that glass is causing a lot of confusion for this fox. In comparison to non-urban foxes, urban foxes exhibit different behavior in Europe, such as greater population density, narrower territory, and group foraging. Foxes have been brought to a variety of areas with variable results on native flora and animals. Foxes are prominent predators of rabbits and chickens chickens in various regions. Fox hunting began in the 16th century in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, hunting with dogs is currently prohibited. However, hunting without dogs is still permissible. Red foxes were imported to Australia for sport in the early 19th century and have since spread over most of the country. Many natural animals have suffered population declines as they feed on calves and particularly young lambs. Several additional nations, including including Canada, France, Ireland, Italy, Russia, the United States, and Australia engage in fox hunting as a recreational activity. Number 6. Manatee vs. Glass 
Because it can't be released back into the wild, this manatee was saved as an orphaned youngster and now resides at the Mote Marine Aquarium. It comes up to the aquarium glass and slowly squishes its face wherever people are standing, as though it enjoys connecting with those observing. At the same time it's amusing and adorable, manatees, sometimes known as sea cows, are big, totally aquatic, primarily herbivorous marine animals. They can reach a length of 4.0 meters, weigh up to 590 kilograms, and have paddle-like flippers. Manatees are herbivores, eating a variety of freshwater and saltwater vegetation. Manatees live in the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, the Amazon Basin, the West of Africa shallow, marshy coastal regions, and rivers. Human-related concerns, including as habitat, degradation, and human items, are the leading causes of mortality for manatees. Because of their sluggish movement and inquisitive temperament, they have collided violently with propeller-driven boats and ships. Over 50 scars from propeller blades have been discovered on some manatees. Extreme heat, crocodile predation on young, and sickness are all natural causes of mortality. Snooty at the South Florida Museum's Parker Manatee Aquarium in Bradenton, Florida, was the oldest manatee in captivity. Snooty was one of the first captive manatees born on July 21, 1948, at the Miami Aquarium and Tackle Company. Snooty had been raised solely in captivity and would never be released into the wild. As a result, he was the aquarium's lone manatee and one of the few captive manatees in the United States that allowed to contact with humans. As a result, he was particularly qualified for manatee research and education. Number 5. Deer Jumps Through Window of Long Island Hair Salon a Saturday trip to the hair salon should be relaxing, a thorough shampoo, a soothing scalp massage, and the satisfying click of the hairdresser's scissors. The calm was instantly disrupted by an aggressive deer bursting through the window of a New York salon. Customers at Long Island's B.U.T. Full Hair Salon were taken aback when a deer came out of nowhere. Inside the salon, a lady is seen trimming a man's hair as another customer rests on a couch near the window. No. The buck then rushes through the glass and into the woman's lap, spreading glass shards and hair clips in the process. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! exclaims the hairstylist as the deer rushes towards the salon's back door, maybe to rummage through the expensive shampoo supplies. The male client walks to the rear of the salon, still bibed after his haircut, to take a look around. A pedestrian peers into the shattered glass before scurrying away as the deer runs back in her direction. Rather of leaping through the deer-sized hole it has just made, the animal breaks the glass door and flees. The woman who was hit by the deer was brought to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, according to sources. The terrified deer was nowhere to be seen when the cops arrived. Let's hope it locates a barber elsewhere. Number 4. Roxy the Raccoon Knocks at the Door for Food Raccoons are known as backyard bandits for a reason, it appears. One especially hungry raccoon is making waves for her amusing method of grabbing cat food from a back porch and pounding on the door when the bowl is empty. The beautiful animal is shown in a video shared on LiveLeak, banging on the door of a house since she has grabbed all of the cat food and the bowl is now empty. It could appear impolite, but at least she's knocking right. The black and white invader, on the other hand, does not knock with her paws. She instead picks up a rock and rolls it against the sliding glass door. This is why she's known as Roxy. Number 3. Bald Eagle Crashes Through Virginia Beach Door's Window When a bald eagle attacked his windshield with significant force as he drove 65 miles per hour along the highway west of Bear Lake, Idaho, truck driver Ben Wright was more than frightened. I didn't know what hit the windshield. All I knew was the glass exploded, and this thing was screaming just like a child or something, Wright recalled of the incident. The bald eagle's wings stopped her from crashing through the windshield completely. The Idaho Department of Fish and Game hurried to the accident scene to save the eagle and discovered that she was bleeding from her mouth and nostrils. 
The Department of Fish and Game sent this tenacious patient to Wilson, Wyoming's Teton Raptor Center, a nonprofit organization dedicated to birds of prey. The Teton Raptor Center's Dan Foreman said that this particular eagle is a powerful bird. She miraculously suffered no lacerations or broken bones aside from the internal damage. To lessen her stress, the personnel at the center limited her contact with the eagle during her rehabilitation. She was okay in the end. Number 2. Crazy Coyote Kicks Glass on this man's doorway, a rabid coyote appeared. I'm not sure what kind of behavior it is to kick the door, but it clearly isn't acting normally. Mr. Coyote, who seems pretty insane, is demonstrating his abilities as a prospective soccer player. The coyote is a canine species found in North America. It is slightly smaller than its near relative, the wolf, and the closely related eastern and red wolves. It has a similar ecological niche in Eurasia as the golden jackal. Rabies, canine distemper, infectious canine hepatitis, four forms of equine encephalitis, and oral papillomatosis are among the viral illnesses known to afflict coyotes. Serious rabies epidemics in coyotes have been rare for over 60 years by the late 1970s. However, occasional instances every one to five years did occur. Many puppies die in the wild from distemper, while some specimens can survive the infection. Tularemia is a bacterial illness that affects coyotes through tick bites and rodent and lagomorph food, and it can be fatal to pups. Number 1. Kangaroo Trying to Break Window to Get in Person's Home the disturbing footage of a buff kangaroo attempting to burst through the glass of a family's home has surfaced. The clip was captured by a lady who was terrified by the event as the eastern gray kangaroo slammed its claws against the glass. Oh, she, uh, that word, says the woman filming the scenario at her house. which is said to be in an Australian neighborhood. As the animal continues to pound her glass, she can be heard screaming with it to stop it. You'll bloody break the thing, the woman added. The kangaroo stood up on its muscular hind legs, staring directly at the resident before frightening her with another loud thud. Before turning away from the window, the woman said, Oh God, c uh, um, another word we won't say. Maybe the kangaroo just wanted a word with her about her potty mouth. Do you feel safe behind the glass at the zoo? What's your favorite animal on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.